Okay. All right. So now here we are going to uh, present our effect rollback works. So this is a quite new Mazda 2 uh, hatchback vehicle. Uh, we have the key pop here. So this is now I'm just showing you that the key pop is itself the key pop which belongs to the vehicle. So if I press the open, you can see now it's open. The flashing lights are there, and I can also close it. And then now I close. You can see that the mirrors are folding, and I can reopen it again. So this is the key fob that belongs to the vehicle. And now what we are going to do is to record the key fob signals, uh, actually a, a few key fob signals, and we will see whether we can unlock the vehicle by just replaying those old key fob signals, uh, which we, of course, shouldn't be able to do so. So now... of uh, receive window. So now what I'm going to do is just record the uh, unlock signal. So now I'm not jamming any signal or whatever. It's, this is the car rental scenario. So I have access to the key fob. So I just record one oop, unlock and another unlock and another unlock. And let's say I also uh, record a few more. I don't mind. Let's say five unlocks. Okay. So what now I'm going to do is to replay these signals. I put the key pop here, so I'm not touching the key pop. There is no any uh, extra trick in the background. So what I'm what I'm going to do is to replay the signals. And now you can see that the vehicle is closed because the the mirrors are folded. Okay. So I'm just replaying the signals. And what we are going to see here is that when I replay the third signal, uh, this one, then the rolling code system will be resynchronizing back to a previous state and then the vehicle will unlock and every further unlock signals here will also work. You, you will also see this from the flashing light. So now I, I replay the signals. Yeah, the blue bar indicates the, the current status. So now we replay the first signal and then the second signal and now the third signal. And now I pause it. So now you see that the vehicle actually unlocked. The mirrors came off. So the vehicle is locked. And now all these two signals, if I if I play further, then it you will see from the flashing lights that it still works. So it's still unlocked too. And it still unlocks again. So now we are back to the original state where we actually left with the key fog. Uh, but I can still replay again all these signals to see whether we can do the resynchronization again. So now if I start again, what we should expect that of course these first three signals won't work uh, because now in the time they are somewhere here. But let's see again. So I replay the first one, nothing happens. The second one, and then the third one, and then it's again locks. The flashing signals are there and it's keep working. Okay, so now what I'm going to see and show you that now I start to use the key fob. <clears throat> so the key fob is, of course, belonging to the owner. So we, we still let the victim to, to use the key fob as usual. So now I can just lock my vehicle. I'm just leaving it or I just unlock it again. I open the door. Of course, I can sit in. I can drive away. It doesn't matter. And then I again brought back my vehicle if this is still a car sharing scenario or I just brought back my car to my own parking lot at my home and I just lock the vehicle and then I go away. I leave the key fob on the top of the, the vehicle to just see. So the victim went away and now we again we come back. We have all the previously captured signals, which is still the old signals we captured back in the past. So we don't need any more signals to be captured. We just only need these capturing process once. And now I just start uh, try to reopen the vehicle again. So I again uh, focus on the, on, the, on the mirrors, of course. So now we replay our old signals, the one, two, and for the third time, it's going to open. And then the vehicles are, uh, the vehicle, the mirrors are unfolded and I have access to the vehicle. 